Hey, how's it going? Um, so I was thinking for these kind of videos, uh, of kind of going about like cars that I've owned and I have Forza Horizon 4. I don't have Forza Horizon 5 that just barely came out. And I think I probably would have been able to get a better representation of the cars that I've owned. Um, cause I mean, it's always fun if you're a car person to have these games. Because if you ha if they have like the car that you owned in it, it's fun to just kind of play with it virtually, and in some cases it's actually like the better way of like kind of experiencing previous cars that I've owned. Um, so we're gonna go with my first car up in this little series thing that I was thinking. And I was going to, like, talk to you about, like, what it was like to own the car and, like, the experiences I had with it, which could be fun. Uh, my first car was actually a 1996 Subaru Impreza. Uh, it was the L version, so it had the 2.2 liter engine. It was automatic. I wish it was manual. And I kind of had some hopes for the car, but, I mean we got it and it had like 256,000 miles on it when we bought it and I drove it until it hit 280 something like 288,000 miles on it and um I'll tell you more of the story about that in a second but out of all the Subarus that they offer in the game that I have access to this I mean it's it's a legacy but it's not but it's still a 90s car um so I'm just gonna try to get a better representation of kind of what it looked like even though like it wasn't it definitely wouldn't be in this game. Um, I pulled up a picture of like what it looked like. Um, the color, I think it's called blue green metallic, but it kind of, it, I don't know. Cause some of these are kind of really blue. And some of these are kind of really green. But, like, it kind of looked like that. I don't know if you can see it. But also, at the same time, like, in terms of the color, the one that I'm seeing here that's probably the closest in color to it would be this car, but it wasn't the hatchback version. That's what it looked like. I'm, I probably should have edited it in there, but, I mean, you can see it on the thing, and we can talk about it live, so... I mean, in terms of color, I'm playing with a controller on it because I feel like racing games, I need a controller. Um, we'll just kind of go this color. This one right here because, I mean, it's it's probably too dark and it's too blue and it's too green. But, I mean, I don't think they would... Re I already, before I started the video, I kind of checked to see what of the stock colors that they put for this car. And it wasn't really that but um I mean I literally did nothing to the outside of the car when I got it and let's go to the tuner I guess or upgrades and tuning so in terms of modifications that I did to this car I wanted to put better wheels on it, I wanted to, but like, I mean, let's see if I can, they, like, I literally ran around with, like, the steelies for a while. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll just stick with the stock ones, because they might as well have been stock. Um... I did nothing with wheels and tires. That was the same. I did nothing with wheel fitments. I didn't do anything with the suspension. The only thing that I put on it, which I don't even know if I'd be able to put on this, was we swapped out the exhaust. So it kind of sounded all ratty. I mean, I wouldn't say it was a street exhaust. I mean, but I don't think we'll really be able to hear it. Um, but this car was basically just my first car, so it was teaching me all the things on driving and car maintenance and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, so, like, we got it for $150 a long time ago.
because it had so many miles on it and like my dad bought it from like a co-worker that he had and um yeah it kind of like for the first little bit there was like a lot of stuff that needed done on it like it needed a new radiator it had a bad alternator like so it needed a little bit of work to get it running so like i think my dad put in like six or seven hundred dollars into it and then that basically was the way it rode for three thirty thousand more miles basically like we didn't really do anything else major on it 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 might have needed a new axle when my dad first got it but i don't really remember very well like I know it needed the radiator, the radiator fixed, and it needed a new alternator. Um, and around the time that we got it, I really wanted, like, a Camaro, because, like, I don't know. In my head, it was just kind of like Camaros were, like, what you'd want as an ideal first car, but like looking back on it i don't think i'm ever gonna own a camaro of any kind i mean i really like the 60s and 70s ones but um the newer ones like i really liked the one that was in like the transformers movies and then like i kind of got to ride in one at one point and you have like no visibility outside of that car like it's 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 pretty it was pretty rough to ride in because like when I drive as like a passenger like when I'm riding in a car with somebody if the car is kind of like open I don't ever really get sick but if it's like it feels like I'm boxed in I start like getting feeling a little nauseous I wouldn't really say that's major car sickness but like also at the same time whenever I drive in it's just me driving any car I don't really have any issues but it's when I'm a passenger sometimes it happens I'm not really blaming anybody's specific driving habits or anything like that that's just kind of always how it's been um anyway we had it for a few years until like right before my senior year and I wrote it I drove it since I, when I was 15 so like almost three years and I wanted something fast and it, I kind of neglected it slightly because I'm trying to get it to the point where I could get another car that would be fun and fast. But like also the same at the same time, like I had become more like in the know of certain Subarus and like Subarus as a whole, and I was starting to lean towards Subarus. Because I live in Utah, Subarus are pretty, pretty, pretty common here, and so I kind of gotten had gotten WRXs in my sight as a car that I could own that would be like obtainable, and but like I had also seen the 2.5 RSs that the U.S. got, and I think that was probably my ideal version of my first car that I would have preferred to have but I had like the four door there was rust everywhere there were dents everywhere none of them really happened to me like one time I took the car up into the mountains and it completely like burned all of the oil so I had to like like baby it down to get enough oil put back into it that it would be okay and so it was like very much a learner car and I w had wanted to maybe try to fix up the exterior, but it was just too far gone. It would have been too much effort. There were too, there was too much rust, and so I wanted to get rid of it, neglected it, and then when it was like at 280, like 288,000 miles on it, um, it threw a check engine light for misfiring cylinders, and. I parked it and then my because I had to go to school and my dad went and took it to a body shop but he like drove it there and he was like trying to like baby it to there because I mean he didn't want to do a tow truck on a car that was 150 bucks so 
he just drove it and was like, we'll just do whatever happens. And as it was there, the crankshaft broke. <laughs> like, as he got there, like, he was, like, a block away, and then the crankshaft broke. So that basically killed it. Like, I had learned how to put aftermarket uh, stereo head unit in it. Like, I had had a subwoofer in it, so, like, it was just at the body shop, and then I went and took all my crap out of it, and then that was it. And it got put into their junkyard from there, so... Um, where I'm kind of at in my car preferences, I don't really know if I should ever, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm going to try to kick these out pretty quick, but I really liked the 2.5 RS body style. So like my favorite car is now a 22B STI, even though like there's no way I'll ever own it, but I kind of want to if I mean if you guys like videos and like I start making money I very much plan to not just play games on YouTube but also car stuff because I love cars and I think it would be really fun to maybe buy like an old Impreza Brighton so like those are like the the lowest low Imprezas basically but they're two doors and swap in like WRX stuff and and try to make it look kind of like an older STI. I know nowadays you can buy cars from Japan and stuff like that but I think it would just be more fun and more special for me to kind of if I was able to do some of the work myself and like all the planning of the car myself to try to make it kind of how I'd want it to look. I don't really necessarily think I would go the route of doing a replica kit for the 22B. I mean, it would be cool, but I my plan was definitely WRX parts over STI parts. I know you can get better performance out of STI stuff, but my ideal Im like Impreza would have kind of the similar setup as the older body styles, and a lot of the older WRXs and STIs were 2 liters, so the WRX being a 2 liter would be pretty close to kind of what I'd want, even though I, once again, I, I know you can buy certain versions of them from Japan, but I, I want an American one and I want to build it myself and do all that sort of stuff. So, um, that would be my ideal thing to be able to make that. I, I like watching other YouTubers who do car stuff like TJ Hunt and Dustin Williams and all that stuff, all those guys, but I mean... It's just, I just love cars and a lot of them in general. And if you see some of the next few videos, you'll know, you'll know that I've owned a few. Um, and I'll, near the end, I'll probably say what the current car that I own is. Even though, like, if people, if any of you know me, you know what my current car is. And, and how much shame or happiness I have towards this car that I own currently. But... Anyway, um, first car, 1996 Subaru Impreza. It was honestly, like, an ideal first car. Like, I learned so much stuff from it, and it was so cheap, and it was the perfect high schooler car for me. Um, anyway, um, for the next car that I'm going to go through, um, it's going to be a... My next car after this one broke is was a night... 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX. I told you earlier that I had it in my sights, and I I did de I definitely committed to it and went with it. So um, I'll tell you my experience of that one in the next one. But um, this probably I mean it's on the hood. It looks worse, but the amount of dents that would be kind of on the side kind of was in the similar. But it wasn't really scrapes, they were just dents, but that's kind of what the car looked like when I owned it, even though this is definitely a more dramatic version of it. So, anyway, thank you very much, and uh, if you're going to watch the next one, be on the lookout for the Subaru Impreza WX video. So.